welcome back to the counter only this time we're actually out in the shed and I've got a bit of a treat for you today a lot of you ask me about the little leveling tables that um, my hubby makes for me for my resin art and so I thought I'd, I'd get him and um, he's a bit shy so he won't talk but get him to actually show you how to make these what you'll need and um, how to put it together so what you've got in front of you are two types of legs one that you can buy from the hardware store that is um, pre pre put together and you can also get them from a cabinet a, a kitchen cabinet um, company they're the legs for underneath um, cupboards or you can just get a bolt and glue a piece of wood on for your handle so what we're going to do and um, this, is, this is one of them it's a bit messy but it's an old one uh, one of the prototypes uh, what we'll do is we'll actually put one together and I'll show you everything that you'll need So what we have is we have your board. This is just a scrap piece that we'll use for an example. You'll need something called a tea nut, which you, you get from the hardware store. All right. You'll need some araldite or some liquid nails or something like that. And if you're making your own legs, you'll need a bolt that goes inside your tea nut now these do come in the same section of the hardware store okay so I'll bring Barry in and um, he can show you how he actually puts it all together okay. this is Barry we can't show you his face because he's a trained professional <laughs> All right, so the first thing he's doing is he's going to, to make little handles. So he's going to just use a scrap piece of wood and cut off five centimetres. Now the bolt that he's using so you'll need to drill a hole the same size or just a little bit bigger than the bolt so that it can feed through the little foot. As always, whenever playing with power tools, uh, make sure things are, are stable and uh, you stay safe. So he's threaded the bolt through the little <laughs> the little block of wood, and now he's going to araldite the bolt to the block of wood. Now this is just a demo, so. Fit that together, put it in a little vise. Hammer it in so that it's fixed and steady. Now that will need to dry for a little bit, but the araldite's pretty quick. If you're using a different glue, um, then you might need a little bit longer. Depending on how neat you want to be, you can uh, sand off the the edges of the wood so that it doesn't cut your hands.
and this can be any shape you want it, it really doesn't matter as long as um, you have something to hang on to and you can turn the bolt once you attach it you get the idea so next we've got the um, your board however big or small you want to make this board I tend to use it uh, make the boards or have the boards large enough or small enough to fit inside a Ziploc bag and that way I can keep it clear of resin resin peels off it and then when it's been used or uh, unusable I can then just tip it take it off and put it in the bin now on your boards you actually want to make a triangle formation which is the easiest leveling. So you'll want one of these legs on each corner of one side and then one in the middle of the opposite side. Again, we're measuring the outside of the T-nut and drilling a hole to, uh, to fit. Now obviously you don't want to drill all the way through your, your piece of wood. So the old um, woodworking trip tip of using masking tape around your drill bit to show you how much you need to drill in. Now I suppose the thing it would be to, to try and get these in the board as even as possible but the reality is if your bolt's long enough you can actually adjust your table accordingly. If you need to drill a pilot hole um, so that you don't slip. I like using melamine board, it has that shiny surface that you can wipe off if you're using these tables for paint. Now again we're going to arrow diet inside the hole and around the T-nut. Now the T-nut does have little teeth on it so it does have a, a bit of grip to the wood. You fit that in, see the little teeth on the side where his, where his thumb is? When you bash this in, not only will the glue hold it, but the little teeth will anchor it as well. Now, um, Barry tends to use his vise to, um, to tighten these into the wood and also to hold uh, the glue in. Now, once that is done, it's a simple matter of just screwing or using your little handle to screw up and down. So there you go, it's quite simple. Now if you're like me and you, uh, you manage to resin the bottoms, um, you can coat these, the bottom of these legs um, with silicon if you want to be able to peel the resin off. Basically, I just <laughs> give it to, to Barry and he sands it off for me. <laughs> Notice those? Because it's actually the bolt that becomes the leg, not the, the little piece of wood. So as long as your bolt is smooth, it will, will sit properly on your, uh, on your tabletop or workspace. So there you have it. Thanks to um, Baz for, for doing those for me. And... Um, We'll see you next time on the inside counter. Hope this helps.